Right, howdy folks, how are we doing? Welcome back to Carlson and indeed welcome to all the new viewers and subscribers. As obviously a lot of you will have um, come over from my main channel. Just park that up there, take that out gear. Um, yeah. So, uh, like I said, um, yeah, I'm going to start putting a few of these up on the channel. Obviously, we've got one Carmsden uh, video up so far. This is obviously the second, and um, I'll continue to put them up now. Obviously, I've just put the round bader up. We've round bowed the uh, the grass field. That's been round bowed and wrapped. Um, me rake man, he's literally just pulled in the yard and then dumped it. Um, obviously late for tea or something like that. Um, so Paul, that is that's poor. You have to park this up. Done with this for the for for the minute. I might cut some more grass yet, but we've got to get um, we've got to get uh, what we've bailed picked up and stacked. I've got quite a bit to do actually on this um, video. We've got lots of got. Pick them bales up. We've got see. I've got a bit more spraying to do. Combine's got to come home. That field of uh, was it wheat, or barley. I can't it's wheat or barley. Um, anyway, that's finished. The combine's still up the field, so that's got to come home. There's nothing else to harvest. Um, yeah, the only thing we've got um, that's coming up for harvest is maize, which is in the the last stage of growth. Right, knock her off. So uh, yes, yeah, so I've got that coming up. We've got another field of maize to harvest. Hopefully, the um, silage clamp is uh, is ready to feed. Now Liz was doing doing some of the baling the other day. Actually, did all the baling I think, if I remember correctly. And um, as usual, what she'd like to do is... Can I move I can't move that shortly. No. <laughs> um, it should bring the last one back and dump it in the yard. Which is great. If we're wrapping in the yard. <laughs> we're not wrapping in the yard. So. Um, not ideal. Um, yeah, that's what we had on the on the wrapper. I know you can get baler wrappers in this game, but... Um, uh, I went old school. I've got a separate wrapper. So, uh, yeah, on the old Landini on the tooth that I do like the look of this tractor. That's a nice looking tractor in it. Uh, but not quite as nice as looking as that. As a lot of you will know, I do like me old school. And uh, sort of being a bit... Um, uh, being um, treated well with a uh, classic kit. Um, Obviously, the Traction King. We've got uh, the 8970 John Deere. And there's actually a 4000 Series Massey coming out, hopefully, fairly soon. So, um, that would be good. But, uh, yeah, obviously, a lot of my old kit. No TWs yet, or FWs. Um, although, there is a Steiger uh, pack coming out at some point, hopefully. Uh, but in Steiger colours, not uh, FW colours. But that doesn't matter. Um... Yeah, spray and rig. I sprayed a field the other day. One of the fields of barley that's growing. Now this, uh, we've got another field up here. Let's go and have a quick look. I'm not sure what grow stage it's at, but um, let's go and have a look. Yeah, so it's a growth stage one, I would say. Um, big, big field. Big, big field. So we've got to do that, but um, I'm not going to bore you and sp <laughs> spend half an hour spraying that. But we might go sort of, you know, do the headland, do the first bit around the headland, and um, just to see what size of it is. Oh, I haven't been around it yet. So what size of field it is. Um, I'll have to look at the market at some point and um, sell some of this. I forget what was that? That's wheat. So yeah, it was definitely barley, the other stuff. So, um, Shut these doors up. Uh, 
Shut that door and nip through. Put the barley. I put the barley in the flat store. There's still actually <laughs> still two trailers up the field. Um, I wonder if that looks like wheat as well, doesn't it? Anyway, let's get on. Combine, should we? Yeah, let's get the combine back, shall we? Um, yeah, it's a bit dirty. I have to give her a wash. Won't do it today. Well, I might, uh, I might do it quickly. Anyway, let's get her back. Well, Torian's done well. 10, no, not 10.50, is she? She's uh, 10.80. Nice and, nice, good size combine. No, not too big, but big enough. Well, I've been tempted um, to get a backup combine, you know, like a, you know, sort of medium sized combine, sort of New Holland 880 or something like that, you know, sort of 25 foot machine, just so you got to, you know, on the big fields if you want, you know, a bit of extra capacity, we can put it to work. But, uh, yeah, Good bit of kit. I did actually um, <laughs> run it out of diesel in this field. I did the other field and then brought it straight up here and got about a quarter of the way across the field. And um, uh, yeah, she, <laughs> she conked out, so I had to, actually had to go and buy a Bowser and um, go and refuel her. Luckily though, no traffic, because although the traffic is um, a lot cleverer now on this on the latest game, it won't, it's not clever enough for a single track. It'll just come up and sit there right in front of you. That's a crappy horn, isn't it? I mean, I've got a powerful gaming PC, although saying that it's probably four, four years old, five years old now, so it is a little bit beyond. But um, Liz is playing it on the Xbox One, and um, that is here's my dog. That is pumping out better graphics than what I've got here. But the other, I, can, I suppose the other thing is I've got um, I'm uh, running it on a plasma screen. So, um, we should never be as, uh, as uh, high definition as a uh, uh, tele's LED, I think, so that'd be a lot better. Right. Now we can cut it back. There we go. And we're in. Yeah. So yeah. Thanks for all the comments on the last video and that. Hopefully, um, you know, we can grow this channel and um, you know, make a bit of a community on here as well, which would be good. Um, yeah, there's um, like uh, some of you commented 
that there are you know, there's mods to be had that will make the game more realistic. Like there's a manual attach, uh, and there's a few others you can get um, seasons for the UK. But um, well, we were October now. Uh, it's pretty, you know, October. It's what you'd expect to see. You know, sort of autumn starting to creep in. Um, yeah, and there's of course there's GPS. Um, I mean, I'm, I'm playing on PC, so um, obviously I've got a lot more mods available. But um, Big Pool, who um, you know lost a bit of multiplayer, he is on console, so of course that restricts um, that restricts what uh, what I can use. So I mean, I can then. Use PC mods when I'm single player, but then I have to um, not have them selected when I do multiplayer. So then you have to really buy them. And stuff. So that is a pain. So I do tend to try and use straight mod hub mods, um, and then you haven't got that issue. Then right, voucher way up, yo. I did like this tractor. We were in bottom range. Give her the beans. <laughs> she knows about it. She does know about it. A few weeds in this field. So that's something I haven't um, sort of found out yet. Um, is whether spraying kills weeds. Obviously, in real life, spraying kills weeds. But does it in the game? I'm not 100% sure yet. There are weeders. You know, that you would use um, if you were farming organically um, to, you know, to you'd use them instead of sprayers but um, whether you have to use the weeders and the weeders only to kill the weeds I'm not entirely sure at the minute these tracks are so well modelled isn't it when I mean, you've got loads on them You know you've got a load on the tractor struggles and that. I really nailed the the physics in the latest game. Oh, we'll keep her in third and hopefully use a bit of engine braking. That won't get a slow down. to a struggling up this hill. <laughs> love it. I oh, love it. Will she end her fourth? I just love that. You know, just stirring the old gear stick. Digger out and just level this bit a bit. Big old hole there. Don't do the old suspension any good, does it? Again, there are some diggers available, but um, nothing really appropriate. No, um, sort of 80 tonnes, 50 tonnes, that sort of thing. Which is not exactly farm sort of size, is it? I was hoping for more of that field. 
It doesn't look a lot of grain, does it? It's pushing up. Oh, part of that drove on this far walk. Actually, I could just back her in there, can I? Till we need it. Right, we want. I uh, don't know. We want. We'll get the eighty-three thirty back now. She's got a load. She's got half a load in her. I don't know if it's just, I mean, how many of you, um, like to play realistically like I do, you know, um, you know, going to the extent of parking the vehicles in the shed sort of thing, rather than just, um, leaving them uh, abandoned somewhere like that. That's, you know, that's what I sort of enjoy about the game, is you can play it as realistically as you like, sort of thing. Tell you one thing that um, I don't think I haven't done any drilling yet, but I don't think the game has got. Although, what was it? FS fifteen, thirteen? I forget what it was now. One of them, um, there were mod cedars drills that had um, basically give you the, the opportunity to put um, tramline marks in. Um, I'm sure none of this, none of the, that's not an option on any of the in-game drills, though. and um, it's sort of kind of annoying because you know tram lines pass and parcel every field um, in the UK at least has got tram lines in. Just out of the way. Big old 83. She's boss of the job. Ooh, she's crawling up here though. 18 miles an hour. She's pulling. I did used to play this game um, with straight keyboard, and you know, before um, you know, before I got steering wheel and that. And I have to wonder how I managed, you know, how I managed to <laughs> play it like that because it's nowhere near as much fun. And I couldn't now play the game with a keyboard, you know, just using WASD to steer it, and you know, forward and back and that just you know just it would spoil it you know the only way to play really is with the steering wheel pedals and of course now gear stick and and the side console with a little uh, load of joystick it just makes it really really you know accurate Have gone in the other door, but um, I'm gonna clamber up the heel a bit. It's not entirely realistic, is it? Because you wouldn't, <laughs> you wouldn't clamber up over wheat like that. Yeah, it's gonna push up like you would if you're going over maze. Not as realistic, that. Let's get on the deck. Right, 
Let's see. Yeah. See if we can tickle there. Bear in mind she's triaxle, so. Watch that roof. There we go. Alright, got myself <laughs> got myself a bit of a corner here and I Is there enough room to yeah, it is. Alright, cop that up enough. Definitely should have come in the near door. I'll tell you what this game is good for. If you're not very good at backing, good backing practice, because the physics are spot on, you know, it, it's very, re you know, how you back it is very, very realistic. Very realistic. I'm talking about realistic. I'll tell you what I bought the other day. Um, I've been thinking about it for a while. Oculus Quest uh, 2. Now, I'm presuming a lot of you will know what that is. Basically, that is um, a VR headset. And um, I thought it was, yeah, yeah, I thought it'd be all right. Absolutely blew my mind. Really blew my mind. If you've never had a go at VR, you need to. It is mental. And I was thinking, if FS was VR, that would just be. It'd be. It'd be unreal. <laughs> it'd be un so unreal. It would be real. That makes any sense. Um, so the 87, yeah, she was left out as well. I just wondered if we could leave her there. I mean, I mean we've got so much to do, but you know, we've been nearly half an hour already. Um, right. We're at the dairy farm. Let's go and have a look. I'm guessing. Uh, F1. Open animal dialogue, so quick look at that. Oh no, that's not, I don't want to look at that door. Um, that's the one, cow barn. So, uh, yeah, <laughs> I've got plenty of straw, but nothing else. Let's have a look at this. Is it ready yet? It is ready, so we'll open the silo. Blimey, that's some brown old silage, that is, isn't it? Jesus. Um, anyway, so that means <laughs> another job now. Uh, we need a for, uh, feeder wagon. Uh, we need probably a block cutter. I think a bucket probably do it. And we can start feeding TMR. Uh, let's go back to the di uh, dialogue there. So we've got slow straw. Yeah, so. F yeah, so. Yeah, we need to get um, feed wagon. Let's drop the massy off, shall we? Another good track. This is again. I like my old school, don't I? I do like the old school. I'm going to purchase a feeder wagon. Again, we could use, you know, we could go mental and buy a self propelled one, but um, um, that's not something you see very often in the UK. There are obviously there are big farms that do have self propelled ones, but it's mainly uh, trail ones. And we haven't got a big herd, we don't need. Nothing too big, do we? Oh, I'm just 
just got to the store. Right, we want <coughs> feeder wagons. Uh, feeder wagons, feeder wagons, there we are. So, what we got? Three to choose from. Got the little coon. Use uh, 12 meter cubed. That might just be big enough. Interesting mixing um, arrangement on there, isn't it? Four paddles and two augers. Silo King, that's a tub mixer. So you've got um, yeah, blades on the tub. Vertical one like that. That's 22 meters. Again. That's pretty big, that is. Obviously the mid range, and you got um, a fairzin, farzin, farzin, fairzin, 24 meter vertical tub mixer. I think we can get away with. Um, I think we can get away with a little coon, can't we? We'll buy that. Right, wouldn't it? If we get a load more cows, we can always upgrade. Make system on it. Excellent. Right, let's drag her back and um, get her filled up. Get a few more of these um, <coughs> um, these single player ones in it, then I'll figure out um, a way of sort of announcing when I'm going to be online and get some online farming done. Because like I say, a lot of you have left comments saying you'd like to join the farm, do a bit of online farming. That's great. That's what, uh, what it's all about. So uh, yeah, I'll, f I'll figure that out and um, I'll get something in place whether I, whether I use Facebook or Instagram or so along them lines um, or put out a video, I might just say put out a video and say what, give you a time and a date and um, uh, I think I'm going to be online so um, here's the silage for it. Mist. That's about the my rapper man mist. Oh, I shan't be um shan't be paying his wage, will I? There's a good few bows in here. Good few bows, I've got to figure it out how I'm gonna um get them loaded. I'll say there is um, loading bows with a load on a trailer is still a faff, <laughs> a real faff. Um, but I might have another go. There is an auto loader, or round bow auto loader. But will, would that work with wrap bows? Not in real life. Um, I think there is uh, the other option of uh, the. Don't even what, you, what you call them. The, the ones you put on the linkage, and there's like um, three bars between you, and you pick your bows up. You only sort of carry two or three at a time. Um, there is that option, but slow a bit. You're getting a bit of a fat finish. So we've got 
up this. And they draw this yard extremely tight. Very, very tight. Wagons are the wrong way around. Um, anyway, we'll tell you what we'll do. We'll probably come back to this. Let's knock her off a minute. Um, we'll come back to that because, like I say, time is ticking. Um, so we'll come back. The cows are alright anyway. They're not going to die at the minute. So, um, be laying it right. The little Landini, Traction King. Um, yeah, still got this. I've still got the big baler down there because there's half a rower um, around the outside that wants uh, picking up with the big baler. Right, let's get this back. No, I like the fact that the tyres are. You see the squatting. There's diesel in there. Pretty good, I do like that. It's a shame there's no um, decent pickups on Mod Hub at the minute. Um, there's a good selection if you're on PC. So there's, uh, you know, in my mods I've got a Disco 4 and a Hilux. Right, we'll go and. Um, Jump on that sprayer. Before we do that, though, I'll just show you the um, the drill and the rolls. I've got. I have gone big on the rolls. Um, yeah, about as big as you can go. So, down by mega roll, 24.3 meters. So, um, on 24 meter tram lines, so uh, they will cover it quick. Eight meter Vanastead, um Chosen that purely because it's the right size drill, uh, eight meter that will fit in nicely with um, your 24 meter tram lines. Um, I can go 12 meters, but um, what well, one thing that would be nice is if that like you got the vanity, you know, you've got the rapid here, you could choose what width rapid you add, and the same for all the machines rather than having one machine for one width, then then you've got a different brand that's a different width have it so that you know you've got all the brands but you can have different widths per brand um, that would be handy it you know it can be it shouldn't be that difficult for them to sort out and be more realistic anyway let's jump on that sprayer can't remember if I need to fill her up I might have to Only trouble this little um, Fent 300 is uh, she's only 40k. So I might swap her out at some point. 55% in that. That isn't well. It's enough for what we're going to do. Like I say I won't bore you with doing the whole field. Um, but we will just go and have a look. Field, didn't it? So, you know, now you see that'd be nice if I had tram lines, but I haven't. I'm going to make some now because I've got crop destruct on. And it should no, am I going to leave? Uh, is it because I've got care uh, row crops on? Possibly. Yeah. See, that's the, the opposite effect of what I want, so I'm not going to spray that. Yeah. I, if I remember correctly, the row crop wheels in, in game will not kill the crop, um, even if you've got crop destruction on. So I need to put standard wheels on there. And um, then that should leave tram lines. That's, that's, that's all I want, really. And it's more realistic than when I go through with a fertilizer spreader. I've got tram lines to follow. 
so um, yeah that's a big old field that is it's a big old field so we'll knock that idea on the head we'll leave that there so to finish off what we will do is we will just give this Lexi in a wash whilst we put her away <laughs> Unfolded, we can put the pipe out. Uh, so, possibly in the next episode, we will um, uh, we will get on to a bit of cultivation work. Put that big old plough to use over there, wherever it is. Get the traction king on the move. Um, let's follow this. Puppy up. I very much doubt this will take as much as it does in real life. <laughs> but again, it just adds an extra layer of realism to it, doesn't it? But uh, yeah, we'll get on with a bit of cultivations and. Um, We'll get them cows fed as well. We'll get them cows fed. Let's see how good that silage is. She's looking spangly. Almost it took about 30 seconds. She's nice and clean. Turn this thing off. Oh, she is lovely and clean. I hope you enjoyed that video. If you've got any ideas um, or suggestions, what you'd like to see me doing next in the old farming simulator, let me know in the comments. And um, yeah, hope you enjoyed that video. We'll see you on the next one. Ta ta.